I'm here again in the swampland of Florida. It has been six years since I got to see this place the way that I saw it the first time. And so many things in my personal life have changed since I last saw this. Looking for this giant cypress tree. And this is a cypress stand. And you may or may not be able to see the tree. It's right there. And the water's recited some. So I think we can get a little closer so you can actually see just how big this freaking cypress tree actually is. Like we're gonna get pretty close this time. So let's go take a look at this. Oh my God. Let me get a photo. Of this. I tried to get a photo of this last time. It was completely submerged in water. I like to over deliver on my promises. So I'm gonna give you an up close view of this right. tree. We're here. The people that would really appreciate this tree don't even know this tree Holy exists. Cow. That's a monster. It's a freaking monster. Yep, really soft. Oh god, it's like a sponge. I may have to take my shoes off so I can get closer. That's okay, I'll do it for the video. Right. Time to take my shoes off. Oh, no wonder I need to take my shoes off. This sunk like ankle deep. Holy cow, I'm glad I took my shoes off. A little cold feet is nothing. The sacrifices a YouTuber and a conservationist will take are limitless. Just to show or give another person an opportunity to appreciate something like this amazing tree. It's so cold. Oh my god. I made it. Let me get another photo. I could only imagine the stories this tree would tell about how it watched all of its little siblings and children grow up. This is the largest cypress tree I've seen in this stand. I guarantee it's over a thousand years old. Cypress trees are some of the most resilient trees there are. They're able to grow completely submerged in water, just like I showed you the last time I went here. They think the cypress knees are a special adaptation to help them transport gases under anaerobic environments like being completely submerged in water. As a certified arborist, I have to say, there's not enough research to back this claim up. And while we're getting better, it just proves the need for conservationists. Look at the traumatic injury this cypress tree suffered and still growing. No signs of slowing down. The fact that this cypress tree stand exists so close to civilization is amazing. What it's like to be I can't help but feel like this is what it would have been like thousands of years ago here in Florida. And as our civilization matures, I hope we set a higher value on places like this. So high in fact that there's no reason to cut them down or tamper with this ecosystem. While everything's constantly changing, I can't say I'm looking forward to all the changes. Unfortunately, this is where I left this place. And I hope that next time I come back, while my life will be completely different, this place will remain unchanged.